Howdy folks, talk about fundamentals again. Uh, we've talked about stance, we've talked about grip. Uh, next thing that's super important is breath control and sight picture. Um, I'm going to put those two fundamentals into the same thing because the method that I teach uh, in, the, in the entire draw goes through all of those fundamentals. Uh, first of all, that good high-tain grip, that uh, double-sided two-handed grip, uh, the fighting stance. The next thing is breath control and sight alignment. If you use my method of bringing that firearm up into your workspace and attaining the grip, if your eyes are on target, when you drive that firearm out, you're going to notice that the sights will come directly in line or they'll come right to that target. So you're not fishing. You're not fishing for them, you're not bowling for them, you're coming up into your workspace and you're pressing out and that sight comes right in line with the target. It works every time. Trust me, try it at home, practice with the dry fire. You're going to see those sights will go right where you're looking um, every time. Sight alignment on a semi-automatic, typically you're going to line up the three dots. Uh, some are at a six o'clock position on the target, some are point of impact, point of aim. So you're going to have to experiment with your firearm to see where it shoots. A lot of revolvers are a six o'clock position. Most semi-automatics are point of aim, point of impact, i.e. you put the dot where you want the bullet to go. So uh, sight alignment is something that you're going to have to experiment. It's a field thing, and it's going to it's going to change from firearm to firearm. So play with that a little bit. The next thing is breath control, and I wanted to incorporate that with sight alignment because again, the method that I teach, coming up into that bubble and pressing out, those sights will come right in line with the target. I also incorporate breath control, and this is an exaggerated thing. Practice it in dry fire so that when you get out here to the range, it becomes a real uh, just a natural thing for you. It, it, breathing. And here's the concept. When you're coming out of your holster, I use an exaggerated version at, start, at first and then the muscle memory will take over. The exaggerated version is when I go to that holster, I'm going to take a deep breath like this. When I come to my bubble and I press out, I start to blow out so that when the firearm is at full extent, I'm at the bottom of my breath. You, your body is stillest at the bottom of your breath, and that's when you're going to be most accurate, especially for your rifle shooters. You know, you put it on target, you take a deep breath, you let it out right at the bottom of your breath, squeeze. Same concept with a handgun. I come out of my holster, I come into my workspace, take a deep breath, I press out, and as I'm pressing out, I'm at the bottom of my breath at the full extension. At that point, we squeeze the trigger. Side alignment, breath control. Practice some dry fire a lot first, then get out to the range and you're gonna be amazed how, how, how much better you put around.